George Clark, a full life from birth to national service. I was born the 1st of March 1939. It was a Wednesday, born at St Luke's Hospital, Bradford. Uh, the beginning of the war years, we lived in a little cottage at side of a pub down Preston Street in Bradford. Mm -hmm. Now that was ideal for my father because went silence, went, come on, we're going to the pub and we were sat in the cellar drinking beer and having a laugh and all that. Then it settled down and we had various houses because in them days if you heard of an house that had been decorated you were off, you did a moonlight flit. So uh, all that all that came into play. Anyway, I went to a nursery at Princeville up in Legrams Lane and I can always remember my eldest brother carrying me on his shoulders when I was you know, when it was bad and snowy or all like that. Uh, from there went to Carlton Street down by University in Bradford um, then went to, to Princeville the main secondary modern school where I uh, went while I was 15 I used to do all sign writing for whist drive and dance and all that I can remember that Having one or two skirmishes with lads, but uh, that's just part of life. Then came the day when I left school. That was brilliant. Uh, and then I, it was a Friday, and I said, Now then, Mum, what am I going to do? She said, You're going in mill with me on Monday. I said, I'm going in mill. Yeah, I said, Well, why can't I have a train like my brother is having? How do you? No, you're going to hit mill with me. What it, what it was really, she wanted to show off my massive curly hair that I couldn't even comb to uh, her friends and that. And I used to go out for breakfast, to cafe and order them and then go collect them and then learn about spinning machines and I was a jobber. Uh, jobbing round and, and then he said I'm going to promote you to a doffer I said what's a doffer he said you, when it's filled these bobbins you go along line with a big tub and doff them into this box and then take them to spinners so I did that and uh, he was a nice uh, overlooker that I worked for he, he took me actually to Edinley to see Freddie Truman well you couldn't see up because it was that fast. It was just a movement behind wickets, but it was nice. Uh, are we all right as regards? And uh, then eventually uh, I got my way and I said, uh, can I go in engineering, ma'am? And she relented. And I went to work at John T. Hardacres in Bowling Back Lane. Uh, following my brother, he was working there. He had an accident, he was throwing up a shaft and his long wavy hair fell down and got around shaft and pulled a big tuft off right up front. Then I got my finger cut in two halves with take it chuck out and start the machine and boom. And I went to the first aid, he said, uh, have you got some money? I said, yeah, I've got some bit of coppers. He said, well, get yourself up to uh, BRI and get it stitched up. And I thought, well, they haven't even the decency to put me in a car and take me up there. So when I came back from that, I was totally disillusioned. So I left there and uh, I went into the mill where my sister worked. And I was supposed to be an apprentice uh, foreman, but uh, I was more messing about with machines. So chief engineer said, would you like a job with us? I said, oh, I'd love a chance. And then I became a mechanic. <laughs>